This is my card. Uh, that stinkers. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, there for a while at my Goodwill bins, there was a cart shortage and this was my cart. And you heard me say, oh, stinkers, because, you know, it's really tough shopping without a cart. But I was lucky enough to find that nice big tote that I could kick around with my foot. And that is what I used to shop during this trip. So is it ideal? No, but I will say that the Goodwill did get new carts, but people were, I guess, stealing them. Uh, that little thing I did pick up, I haven't listed it yet. I need to get some batteries to test it or I'm going to have to sell it as is untested. It takes those smaller batteries. And you know, I bought some of them, but I feel like once you like test something with them and you try to reuse them, it's like they're drained of all their voltage or whatever it's called. I haven't had very good luck with those. Maybe I am buying cheap ones just for testing. So maybe I'm just buying ones that are too cheap. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't have that problem with like the double A's and the triple A's and all of those. It's just the cell. Um, what do you call those? The little circle cell batteries. Is that what they're called? Does anybody else have that problem? I found plush. Did I find plush? Uh, I found a ton of plush. Now, did I buy a ton of plush? No, but I did buy some plush. Here's the first item. Anything that is realistic, that's an animal, I always pick it up. It seems like cheetahs, leopards, wolves, different things like that. I also do well with bunnies. That one's obviously not realistic looking, but I will price those items on the higher end. Uh, that's a Build-A-Bear. Not sure if that one... I There are some Build-A-Bear that go for crazy money. I actually have a video that talks about it. Uh, big Money Bolo Build-A-Bear. Put in Bolo Buddies Build-A-Bear into the YouTube search and those videos will come up. I think I have a couple. But one thing that I found is that Build-A-Bear and Plush and Toys do better on Mercari. Uh, just, it's unbelievable sometimes. A lot of items get flooded on eBay and when you cross post... You can put those items over on Poshmark and Mercari, and you may sell the item quicker. This is a raccoon. It is a Webkin's signature. I also have a video about Webkin's. Some of them go for crazy money. The signature series goes for more typically. So I did price that raccoon high. I have never sold a raccoon, but I'm hoping somebody's going to come along and pick that guy up. And... Plush is one thing that I like to sell. Now, I think... Because so many resellers sell plush and have success with it, people are under the impression that plush sells quickly. And I think a lot of new resellers go out and they buy a ton of plush and they list it and they're like, this stuff is not selling. I will tell you that most plush is long tail. It takes the right buyer. So don't have the expectation that you're going to buy a plush and they're going to fly out of your store. Now, some of them, the hard to find ones, are going to go for big money and they're going to sell really quickly. That is what you want. But most plush is bread and butter and long tail. So if you're thinking about selling plush, definitely keep that in mind. If you're not a long tail seller, I would look up each plush individually before I buy it. Because otherwise, you are going to be having a lot of plush sitting around your house waiting for it to sell. If you don't have a big area to store stuff and you're working in a small space, probably plush is not an ideal item for you to sell. This right here is a, uh, is that a gun? An Aurora. It's an Aurora long-haired Pomeranian dog. I put that over on whatnot. You're going to see me pull up multiple plush items that I decided to list on whatnot. So Whatnot is a platform where you have live auctions, but Whatnot also has a marketplace, which is awesome because you can put items in your marketplace and when you have your live shows, you can put those items from the buy it now section into your live show and available. And if people buy something, 
they can then get discounted shipping on the buy it now items. So I am pricing these items very competitively, cheaper than I would put on the other platforms so that my buyers on whatnot are encouraged to pick something up because it's a really good price. It's also going to help me get new followers on whatnot organically by people maybe searching for something on whatnot, finding my listing and seeing that, oh, hey, she does auctions. I'm going to follow her. So that is a lot of five Webkins. Those I am doing for $15 on whatnot for all of them. So again, encouraging people to come to my whatnot for good prices. So a lot of these items that I'm popping up are in my whatnot buy it now section. I sell things all the time during my live shows that are from my buy it now section. It's, it's a great, great feature that they offer. So if you're selling on whatnot, definitely check that out. If you're not selling on whatnot, um, even if you don't want to do the auctions, you can have a buy it now marketplace, just like Facebook marketplace, you know, you don't have to go live. So definitely something to consider. I do have a referral link down below if you want to sell on whatnot. So use the buyer's link to join, get your $15 to shop, then come back and click on the seller's link and you will have to fill out an application. If you use my seller referral link, that will tell them that I referred you and you will get um, a notification that says Bolo Buddies referred you or whatever. They'll get a notification. And from what I hear, if you use a referral, you're more likely to get accepted quicker. So something to keep in mind if you're looking for a new platform to sell on. But Whatnot is definitely an awesome platform. Look at this little Gans. Now, I will tell you Webkin's dogs vary. Always look up the dogs. I have one dog listed right now that is a big money bolo. I'm just waiting on the right buyer to come and scoop it up. Uh, the bunny. I think I got that. And for some reason, I didn't list it. I don't remember why. This right here is a fur realistic dog. And it's pretty big and it's uh, it's realistic looking. It is unbelievable. I cannot believe how good the condition was. So as we're going through this video, if you guys see something that you would have grabbed that I missed, timestamp it down in the comments so that we can all learn from each other. This is a squishable. If you guys don't know about squishable, some of them do really well. They can be a big money bolo. Some of them are hard to find. Here's another one. I put this over on whatnot. It's this cute little Thai Dumbo. I do pick up Thai that are cartoon themed. And I just had a SpongeBob that sold pretty quickly that I had picked up at the bins. So things that people want, they don't really care what the brand is. They just want the cartoon. Those items will sell. I did pull off that little piece of the semi truck. It is a piece that gets lost. So I have that listed as a replacement. The entire truck wasn't there. It was already damaged. So I basically just saved that piece from the landfill. All right, let's keep digging here. I look forward to seeing what you guys would have picked up that I missed. I got this little owl, but it ended up being chipped when I got home. Um, I love owls. If you guys watch me, you know that. So I did pick up the owl. I do sell some of them. I don't keep all of my owls. I actually have them in my eBay store. And I call my owls Olo, O-L-O, -O, and I say Bolo with Olo. It's just kind of a fun little thing that I do. And in my eBay store, I will put Olo, O-L-O, -O, in my title. So if you guys are searching for owls, you can put that in the title of my eBay search, and you will see the owls that I have listed currently. Uh, it's something that I was thinking about doing a while ago. I kind of started to implement it, but I haven't been real good about talking about it and keeping up with it. So anyway, you guys can check that out. My eBay store link is down below if you guys want to see items that I have for sale. No pressure to buy. If you just want to snoop around and check it out, I'm fine with that. And um, as always, if you want to buy something, you can, but never any pressure to buy from me. Like, if you guys want to come over to my whatnot auctions, just come hang out in the chat. Come hang out. Um, I'm doing a lot of jewelry shows. A lot of times I will do untanglings and just dig through jewelry jars and do stuff like that. It's fun. It's kind of like something you would see on YouTube, but it's on whatnot, and I sell the items as I go. But it is definitely a live experience, so you never know what I'm going to find, right? 
let's keep a look in here. Lots of uh, kitchen stuff in this thing, which I stay away from. I know a lot of people will get kitchen items and they will part them out. Um, I'm pretty sure Dad Planet does that because I've heard him talk about blenders and stuff. If you guys are not following Dad Planet, definitely check him out. He actually shops at the same Goodwill bins as me, and we have done collaboration videos before, so many of you already know who Dad Planet is, but his channel is growing like a weed. Oh my goodness, it's just growing like crazy. He is doing a lot of Goodwill bins videos and thrift with me. He keeps them educational, and you guys are really going to like his channel. So if you're not already subscribed to him, definitely go and check him out. I will link him down in the description. Uh, just He sources differently from me. But the stuff he finds at the bins is incredible. So go and sub him up. Again, that link will be down in the description. So you're seeing me pick up the small toys. A lot of those small toys are not listed. I am going to make small bundles. I may do a, another whatnot toy show in the future. So I may bring some of them there. Just trying to get all of the small toys and save them because... I love selling toys. I just love it. They're so easy to list. They're easy to ship. They're easy to find. They're lightweight if you're at the Goodwill bins. But I will say one thing that I noticed. So let's say I have six Paw Patrol figures and I'm going to sell those together. Is Whatnot Auction the right way to go? I don't know because if you think about the weight of six of them, and it's a dollar, I forget, is it a dollar ninety nine a pound at my bins? I think it's up to a dollar ninety nine a pound. Let's say they weigh a pound or not probably not a pound. Let's say they weigh a half pound. I'm paying a dollar for those six items. So I can't start my auction at a dollar on those six items because if they sell for a dollar, I'm going to lose money. <laughs> so you do have to be careful when you do whatnot auctions that you're being smart. And you're starting your items at what you need to start them at to make a little bit of money. So if you decide to do whatnot, definitely take into consideration what you paid for your items and be smart about how you market them and how you start them. And you got to think about all of those things. You got to think about the buyer. What are they going to be paying for the item? What are they going to be paying with shipping? So is this a good whatnot item or should I sell this on eBay or another platform? So take all those things into consideration when you're having shows. You have to put your items on the place where it is best suited. Now, as your whatnot grows and you get more people coming to your shows, you're probably going to get more bids on your items because there's more people at your show. So if you start it at a dollar, it's probably going to get bid up. But if you're just starting out on whatnot, you're going to want to bring things that people really want. And it's, you know, it's a learning curve. You're going to have to figure out what works best for you. But the buy it now section, anybody can do the buy it now section. I think I took this outfit off of this doll and I bought the outfit. I'm almost certain I did. But for some reason, I didn't show that. It's, uh, I think, from Frozen, Disney Frozen. All right. So picking up more plush, digging, digging. I put this one on Whatnot also. A lot of these items are currently on my Whatnot. So if you see something you like, you can use that link down below. Get free $15 to shop and then you can go buy it and you can get it for free. Um, Mac Pack reselling bought. Um, where was it? I think I, oh, this guy right here. Um, and Mac Pack reselling is going to do Whatnot in the future also. So follow her over on Whatnot. Show her some love with a follow. She's also on YouTube and just starting out. So um, I always encourage everybody to sub people up. And But yeah, she bought that little uh, husky with the little birthday hat. Super, super cute. And she bought that from my Whatnot show during a live show. So she got the discounted shipping. So that's cool. This little bunny, I bought that, but I don't see where I listed it. So it might be in a bag somewhere still, but I'm pretty sure I got it. What was that turkey? Was that some sort of puppet? Should I have grabbed the turkey? I don't know. Maybe I should have. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, I do Goodwill Bins videos here and there. Usually I'm trying to do once a week, but mostly on my channel, I talk about what sold. Items that sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I also feature a lot of other sellers and their solds. 
So the channel is super educational as far as learning what to sell on multiple platforms. So check out some of my other videos if you're new here. Uh, again, I'm trying to do a Goodwill Bins video once a week, but I'm a little bit behind on that. I am also thinking that I'm going to do a video on the uncut version. So I used to do this on my other channel, my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I would basically take the footage like you're seeing right now, and I would just leave the sound on and not put any edits. I don't show you guys anything educational. It's just me digging through the bins. Some people really enjoy the sound of it, and they really don't want to hear me do a voiceover. So I think I'm going to try that again with this video. Um, I currently have it broken into three separate videos, and I'm going to release those on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I haven't released them yet. I'm still like, should I do it? Should I not do it? Are people going to want to see the same footage twice, even if um, it's sound only, like Goodwill Bend sound, like the ruffling through the stuff, if it's not educational? So I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence, but I do have them ready to go. And I would love your feedback down in the comments. Is that something that you would watch? If so, go over to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel and subscribe and let me know here in the comments. I did have some people, I think it was maybe only one person, recently asked me to bring the uncut back, that they really enjoyed it. And really, that's the only feedback I've gotten, but I haven't really asked for feedback. So if you guys can let me know in the comments, that would be incredible. I know there's a lot of videos that they call ASMR and it's like people like do different things where it's just sound. Would this be considered ASMR? Does anybody know? I'm wondering if it is or not. So throw your feedback down in the comments. I did grab that little Disney plush. I have not, I haven't listed it yet. I haven't decided where I'm bringing it. It might be a good whatnot item because it's lightweight and it's super cute and it's Disney. So that may be going to my whatnot buy it now. Or I may auction it. Who knows? We shall see. Time will tell on that guy. What's that little green thing down there? Why didn't I grab it? Why didn't I grab it? Did you guys see the little green toy? It kind of looked like a VeggieTales, but I don't think it was. Um, VeggieTales, if you don't know, are a bolo. Definitely a bolo right there. I, uh, I did pick up some clothing the other day. I, I'm not sure if this is the pair or not. Uh, I don't think it is, but I did pick up some clothes. I couldn't help it. I found some things and I'm like, I think I can sell these, but I think I'm going to bring them to whatnot auction style so that I don't have to do pictures. I don't want to do pictures. Uh, clothing and me are just, I, I don't have that passion for it anymore. I was a full-time clothing reseller for probably, oh my goodness, 10 years, maybe longer. I did retail arbitrage, so I shopped at discount stores, and I would do retail arbitrage online, where I would source online for things, and then I would list those clothing items on eBay, and I was very, very successful with that. But I decided to switch to hard goods. And to me, I just enjoy my job so much more now. So it's just a better fit for me at this point in my life. You know, I just, I don't know. People change. It's so funny because how do you go from being, I only want to sell clothes to, I don't want to sell clothes anymore. <laughs> All right. This right here is a for real unicorn. What I'm looking right now is for that strawberry. Did you see the screenshot that I popped up? That strawberry is a 20 to $25 replacement part. If you ever see it, pick it up. Unfortunately, I never found it, but I did find these cool little, um, I forget if these are Safari, I forget what brand they are, but they are vintage. So what I did is I lotted those three characters or figures or animals together and I listed them in a small bundle. Looking forward again to seeing what you guys think I should have grabbed. That thing is like squishy and weird and look at it. What? What was that? I'm guessing a few of you might have picked that up and took that home with you. Um, nice little stress reliever right there, right? You can squeeze it while you drive if you're in traffic. Does anybody like um, have like a stress ball or something they use in traffic? <laughs> two hands on the wheel. Two hands on the wheel. I do not. Um, I don't like driving in traffic. Um, 
especially in areas where I'm not real familiar with it, I get nervous and I seem to always miss my turn. And even with my GPS on, it's like the GPS waits to tell you to turn until after you've passed it. I'm like, oh my goodness, now I have to reroute, turn around, and super, super frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a big fan of driving. I recently had somebody message me and ask me, do you like to drive? And I'm like, that's a weird question. But the answer is no, not really. Uh, some people think it's super relaxing. I know Donatella Bottolino loves to drive. She loves to drive. Me, on the other hand, no thank you. I mean, I don't hate it. I'm happy that I can drive. But you know, I like driving in areas that I know and like not on the highway. Does that make sense? Let me know what kind of driver you are. I know this has nothing to do with reselling other than you have to drive to get to the store. And how about this? If you're at a community garage sale, are you the person that parks and walks from each garage sale to each garage sale to each garage sale to each garage sale? Or do you get back in your car and pull up to the next one? I am a park at the garage sale, get out, shop. If there's one or two that are super close, I may do all of those at the same time. But if they're like three or four houses apart, I'm going to drive. And the reason is because what if my hands are full? Then I have to walk all the way back to the car with all my purchases. I guess I could leave it at the garage sale, but I'm always afraid somebody's going to grab my stuff if I do that. This dinosaur sold for $25, and he sold super quick. My sale went off, and somebody snagged him when I was not having a sale. So um, that's always pretty cool when you have a cha-ching at full price. They didn't even make an offer, so um, that was cool. That's, that's a nice little plus. So I may have had that one underpriced. Let me know if you ever get cha-chings when your items are not on sale. Let me know if you use the best offer option or if you just do the buy it now and what you think the pros and cons are to that. Also, let's talk about free shipping. Do you offer free shipping? Thank you guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.